Well, we're here down in the Delta with Dr. Mark Bowen at the site of the Non-Physical Barrier Project at the divergence of Old River and the San Joaquin River. Mark, could you tell us a little bit about what this barrier is for? Sure, this barrier is to keep Chinook salmon smolts in the San Joaquin River. And it's composed of a sound, strobe lights, and a bubble curtain. The sound deters the fish, and the bubble curtain and the strobe lights allow the fish to identify exactly which direction the sound is coming from. So what we're seeing here is basically a way to keep the salmon from going the wrong direction? Yes, that's true. If they go down the old river, they're more likely to come into contact with the diversion facilities. If they stay in the San Joaquin River, they're more likely to reach the ocean. During the assembly and installation of the barrier, we had a chance to talk to a few of the guys involved in the process. We've driven four piles uh, across the head of Old River. In between the first two piles, we'll put four eight meter long frame sections, and they will connect to the pile, and they'll sit on the bottom of the river. They're blocked up off the bottom of the river, about 12 to 18 inches. Mounted on those frames, you've got strobe lights, air bubbler hoses, and a speaker system. Those will be emitting sound and, and bubbles and lighting across the head of Old River to divert fingerlings coming down the San Joaquin and hoping that we divert them on down the San Joaquin and out to the ocean. Normally we put in a, a rock barrier or a physical barrier that stops the fish from going into Old River. As, as I understand it, the Bureau of Reclamation and Fish and Game are implanting a bunch of fingerling with uh, the transmitters in them. They'll start releasing those upstream and they've got a, a monitor that we're going to mount under the water that will check the effectiveness of this non-physical barrier uh, to see if, if in fact the fish are continuing on down the San Joaquin and not diverting into Old River. The difference between this system and other systems is that we've actually included light in it as well but we have a bubble curtain which will capture the sound from the sound projectors. There we can put a signal in which we know the fish will uh, want to avoid. Uh, they will swim up to and swim away. We've added lights onto that as well, strobes, which will flash and actually act as a second deterrent, uh, which will also help divert the fish away. And it will run across the head of the old river and it will guide the fish away from the entrance to the old river and down towards the main river itself. This is designed to get in, test the technology, and then take it back out. So if we were to do something more permanent here, it, the design would use the sa same components, but the structure would be uh, more permanent and be more heavily armored against uh, you know, debris loads and that sort of thing. And, and it'd be something that we could put in, take out more easily than we're doing right now. Mark, what stage are we at here with the non-physical barrier? The deployment of the barrier was completed in April, 15th and right now we're in the monitoring stage. We've just completed the third release. We'll do a total of seven releases. Mark, could you tell us what we're looking at here? Sure, this is a two-dimensional real-time tracking system. What we have here are uh, a display showing the locations of four hydrophones and the non-physical barrier which is aligned here. The fish, which is represented by these small squares through time elapse, comes along, encounters the barrier like it's going to go down Old River, comes to the barrier, makes a hard right turn, and goes down the San Joaquin and is deterred from entering Old River. What that means is that if the, these continue to occur, then we're going to have a lot of fish that are not going down Old River. They're less likely to be entering the diversion facilities, and in the San Joaquin River, they're more likely to get to the ocean successfully. That is the result we're looking for, to okay. deter fish from entering Old River.